I went ahead the other day and ordered one of these um, emergency clutch cable repair kits from a company called Savior Ride out of uh, Wisconsin. It's pretty slick. I've used it on one of the other victories I had when the uh, again the clutch cable snapped right at the perch, and uh, works pretty well. They're like uh, I think it's like 42 bucks, um, but I left it on permanently on the old one I had, and, and it uh, continued to work fine. So. So the kit comes with uh, a little bit of grease, so I need to put that on the cable or put it down the housing, um, so we'll do that first and then uh, we'll slide the cable in and I'm going to go ahead and get this cable lubed up, shoot some of this grease down the housing, then we slide the cable in, it goes in nice and easy. At all possible you want to make sure the cable doesn't slide across the ground because it's going to pick up any kind of dirt or whatever especially once you get the grease on there and then it's going to booger up the cable and the housing and stuff so Just take the time and get in there nice and clean now, like i said before i i had a uh had a uh previous victory motorcycle where the cable also snapped with the clutch perch I mean I've had it happen kind of my whole life between riding ATVs and then uh, motorcycles so I think this is my third motorcycle where I've had a snap I snapped it on my dad's old Suzuki GS750 my wife and I were riding it years back but uh, yeah it's one of those consistent things I'm always snapping something I'm just going to grease up the last bit of the cable here and then I'll slide it into the uh, clutch perch. So in the directions it says to take the, uh, the clutch lever completely off but I don't think it's necessary. You can just push the clutch lever back and then slide the cable up and in and then it closes over and then all we have to do is just push the the uh, housing back into place once we get the uh, cable shoved all the way through. So I'm just going to finish pushing the cable through here. It's just popping out the bottom down there. So we just got to make sure that this stays seated and then fish the cable through the through the opening slots and then the housing comes right back in. And then you don't have to pull, fully take the uh, fully take the clutch lever off. It's just kind of an unnecessary uh, hassle to do that. As you can see down here, down at the bottom now, the uh, cable came all the way through. So we're right to the fork, and then uh, we've got that cable section. I'm just gonna wipe the grease off my hands in a minute. And then with the kit, the opposite end that then goes in that clutch fork region just a little barrel that has threads and then of course a, a hole for the cable to go through and then it just uses a, uh, a bolt to pinch the cable so then you just thread it together and then it pinches it so it's pretty basic but it's uh, sufficient enough I think based on my experience from the other one so the cable slid out through the housing down at the bottom here and then we're just going to uh, Slide it over the barrel and then bring it forward. We've got the cable housing that comes up. So I'm just going to do it where the open end for the bolt is going to the back of the bike because then it's clear access for putting the wrench on it. But then we just thread it in there. And then we just got to make sure that the uh, cable's pulled taut. So that when we act actuate the clutch, there's plenty of free movement there. Slide that in a little bit. I think I should put some grease down here too, I think. I think, I think. Let it slide down there nice and easy. I 
should specify so it slides on the forks that armature or arm some armatures arm go ahead and slide that in snug it up Cable's nice and tight there. Slide that feller in. I'm just going to snug it up. There we go. We've got a clutch that works again. <laughs>